Oh, yeah. I wanted to share something with y'all this Thursday evening. Um, the 8th. What did I say? The 8th or the 9th? The 9th of September, 2021. About four or five days ago, I lost one of my cats to an automobile accident, I guess. I woke up one morning and I found her laying out in the road. And so, of course, there's nothing we can do. They're animals. We like to keep them with us forever, just like we like to keep each other forever. But that's just not the case. It's a time to live and it's a time to die. Um, but it's an adjustment. You know, I don't, I don't think I've had her for a year, but uh, she was my shoebie. And so now I find myself trying to be a little more protective with them three. You see one, one right there on top, one right there, and one right there. Because, you know, now I don't want them to get close to the road, but hey. They're outside cats, and there's nothing I can do about it. So, like, right now, especially, you know, nighttime, they're nocturnal animals. They play at night. They run around. And so, then that's what they're doing. Normally, I'm in the house by now, but um, it's nice and cool out here. So, I'm out here, and so they're close to the road as they can get. And so, I, I was bringing them up. Like, hey, especially that one sitting on the column. Like, hey, come on up. And they go right back out there. And the reality is, you know, this is a part of life. Living is a part of life. Dying is a part of life. But you can't allow a loss or hardship to cause you to live out of fear because that's not living you know that everything you're doing is anticipation of something happened that happened to you in the past you know and so I'm trying to be mindful of that because I catch myself like trying to shelter them a little more, like, you know, if it was something I could have done to keep her from going out in the road. Uh, if I could have woke up a little earlier and came outside, um, she might not have been across the street, whatever the case is. But, hey, you know. But it's my choice. I choose to have cats that live outside. They don't live in the house, and um, this it comes with the territory. I was saying earlier on one of my uh, videos with my garden and the cats, like, I like the benefits of having them versus mm, living life without them. And even if, you know, you gotta go through loss, but you know, that happens with um, that happens with people. That happens with each other as well. You know, even as humans, you know, you get in relationships, you have family, and no one is promised tomorrow. But if you've lost somebody, you can't live life not wanting to engage in another relationship because. You're scared you're going to lose them. Truth be told, we're all <laughs> going to die someday. We're all going to transition at some point, someday, and don't nobody know when. And so, you enjoy the time that you have with each other. Forgive. Show each other some grace. Because we all make mistakes. We're all faulty. I could say we all try to do better. 
but we just don't get it right. But sometimes that's not the case. Some people don't even try. You know. And so I could say, hey, doobie. Um, I could say, hey, you know, that really hurt, you know, being without her every day. So I don't want to get attached to any other animals. That's just, yeah, no. But no. But what about all of the great moments, the, the great times that you can now carry with you and the memories that you hold dearly, you know? So I know that losing someone or an animal can be hard, but you know, if you think about it, they were never ours to keep. Anyway, I think we just get in that mindset and we get possessive. Ain't that pretty? And we get possessive like they're ours and we're gonna have them forever. And that's not the case at all. Hey, booty. there big boy so I just wanted to share that with you guys it's just a thought ran across my mind and yeah, I just wanted to share and um, you know even if you have experienced loss you take it one day at a time nobody Nobody can tell you how you grieve not having them there anymore. I think it's time for him to be neutered. He didn't know it. I think he's on the hunt. And here's his sister. Every time he get to sniffing her, she might be a little delayed. Cause she she's not having it right now. But I know it's a matter of weeks before she starts going in heat. But yeah. Anywho, I just wanted to share that. Yep, nobody can tell you how to grieve and how or how long it takes you to grieve. You know, some people might grieve for quite a bit, but it's a season. So, whatever you got to do. Got to cry. You got to get to yourself. You got to take some trips. You got to look at some pictures. You just got to think about it and uh, cherish the memories that you were privileged to experience, you know? Instead of looking at it as it's a bad thing that they're gone, how about it's a great thing that they were here and you got a chance to be in their life and they had a chance to be in your life. You I'm sure you're better for knowing them. They left some type of impact in your life that um, has shaped who you become or that will continue to shape who you are becoming. Yes, yes. So, anywho, that's it for tonight. Y'all have a wonderful Thursday. 
Hope everyone gets ample sleep, restful sleep. When you wake up Friday morning, knocking it out the park, feeling refreshed. Y'all have an amazing evening. Goodbye.